All right, just wanted to show you before I put everything in here, what I get to see before all the things go in. So basically we're gonna have one elevation here, pantries, sink cabinet, uppers, peninsula coming out, um, back over here, range hood, cabinet, microwave cabinet, fridge, that's it. So just wanted to show you that before I bring everything in. It's hot today, oh, 32 plus humidity, it's a hot one. And I wanna get this done. We'll be back tomorrow, so we'll see you tomorrow. What's going on everyone? We are back on job site. So we are installing a kitchen today. I delivered everything yesterday. I showed before I even brought the cabinets you know what everything looks like before I get it. So it was basically just bare walls. We got bare floor. There's the walls are painted and basically everything's ready to go for the cabinets. So as you can see, got my laser set up. We got our little line right there. We put on the wall, the laser's leveled and set up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start leveling all the cabinets up, get them all in place so we can get the countertop people out here to template because that's the thing that's gonna hold this job up. So we always kind of rush or not rush, but we work quickly to get all the lower cabinets in so templating can happen because after templating for countertops, it usually takes about a week, week and a half, sometimes up to two to three weeks, depending on how busy they are. So lately they've been really busy, but they have gotten more employees. So things turn around points had been a little quicker. So I'm just going to quick go around here, show you all my little workstations and all the things that I'm doing here and all the tools that I'm using. So obviously number one, first we got our green Milwaukee laser all set up. It's awesome. We can see it all the way around both elevations. We have our oven elevation. We have our pantry elevation with a freezer. This elevation has a fridge as well. So they have the fridge and full freezer, which is pretty cool and handy. And on this elevation, we have a peninsula and we have three drawer cabinet, sink cabinet, dishwasher, and three drawer cabinet. So these are the drawers. I just keep them out because I'm going to have to level them up, screw everything to the wall over here. We got a nice little Milwaukee pack out. Everything's all handy and set up for me. Got my level. We got our pack out radio. We got lunch. We got drink because it's a hot one. Vacuum over here. Some other tools. These are all my applied panels. So these are the panels that will get applied and fit and cut to the wall. These are the lower decorative panels. You can see the decorative because that's the matching door profile. So yeah, these are all the panels that I got to fit. So we got four we got eight nine ten eleven twelve big panels to put on the cabinets so lots of cutting and fitting but we can whip through that over here we got our fridge panels uh, obviously we have one for a freezer and the other ones for the fridge and we'll go outside show you how i kind of set everything up here and out here we got our Milwaukee 12 inch compound miter saw. It's all set up with the batteries charging. Awesome saw if you're looking for one. I love it that it's not so easy. And out here we got our skill saw, our power planer and jigsaw and just our workbenches to cut all the applied panels out here. So those are kind of my, my workouts, uh, my workstation for outside. Keep all the dust and all the stuff outside. And yeah, we're basically ready to go. So we got everything charging. Batteries are all pretty much ready to go and yeah we're gonna get into it there's a lot to do i want to get all the lower cabinets in today and panels that way i can schedule templating and i know everything's fitting properly and we're good to go so guys on that note let's get to work we got lots to do let's have some fun we'll throw the tunes on as always working by myself it's actually nice very easy to do and if you are in the trades i'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching it's amazing what you can do yourself. Like, honestly, don't ever be scared to do things by yourself, work by yourself. Don't overdo it and make sure you know your limits. But like, honestly, these guys, I brought in myself yesterday. No problem, no issues. And they are, boom. Just under 33 and a half inches wide. And these things are like 80 inches tall. 
24 inches deep. Brought them in myself. Now I used a cart, which is very helpful, but very doable. This, I think to bring everything in, get everything all set up, took me just, just over an hour. So not that bad. So sorry for rambling. Let's get to work. We got lots to do. Let's have some fun. Enjoy. <laughs> Train life's going straining just to catch a glance, raining in everything I left behind to catch a glimpse of moment. Picture stars and trees, a clear blue sky before they pass. Forgotten treasures exit the corner of my eye. Life's just the same game, and I play shot. I'm here to say, but chalk boys and candy canes, they can all be erased. Holding on to something, nothing in the end, but will I even gain? All right, that's perfect. That's the sink cabinet. Right on center. Level, close to. We're gonna level that up, finish that up, and then carry on. So, that's how we put the plumbing in. Pretty quick, easy to do. Hole saw, three holes, boom. Got it, put the cabinet in place. On to the next one. All right, guys, we're gonna keep going. guys so we got this end all lined up and leveled i'm just going to show you but it takes a little bit of time because it's a peninsula i want to get everything leveled up as perfect as can possibly be so that's why i got my laser and my level so if you guys are wondering why i have both it just helps me to make things a little bit faster on installs here so i'm going to flip this around show you guys what i'm doing 
So starting over here, we got our sink cabinet in, got the plumbing put in. These cabinets are screwed together with the drawer unit that comes into the peninsula. We got our corner filler here that's put in. And I did have somebody call me out on a video and they said, why is there a gap in there? There shouldn't be a gap. Like, why don't you build the cabinet right to the wall? Well, because this cabinet is made for a fly moon or we call these magic corners, where this cool little gadget just swings out like that and swings back in all soft closing. Now that requires a certain amount of space. So that's why we build it to that size. And that's why there is an eight and three quarter or eight and a quarter space here. And that's how it's left. So that's all done guys. We come over here. Next, we have our panels that are going to go on here and there. I'm not sure if you've seen me lining everything up, but I always double check to make sure everything fits properly because the last thing you want to do is line something up and it doesn't fit properly. And you wish you would have did something differently at the start so it would have worked. So I always double check things. I'm just throwing these in for you guys just so you can see what I'm dealing with here. And boom. So that's going to be the side panel. This one's a little longer because of the seating area. And then we have our back panel that is beautiful, that will be fit to the wall and fit to the floor. And that's that end. So we're flying along here. Now we're going to go back over to the dishwasher side. So we're going to put our panel in and then switch over here, get this leveled up to where it needs to be. And then we're back over to this elevation. So guys, I'm going to show you as much as I can. So you can see exactly what I'm doing and we're going to keep flying along in this install. Everything's going good and everything is the way I want it. Good day, great time. All right guys, so we got this cabinet in. Now we're ending off with the decorative panel. And I'm just gonna show you guys exactly how I do this. This here is my little scribing tool or it basically measures actually what I do. Let's just rewind here. 
is this gives me my measurement here. You can see it's about a half inch. So basically I make this panel always oversized to fit the contour of the wall. So you can see right here, I've got a more of a gap here and it's tighter up here. So that's where this comes in. I take this and it basically follows the contour of the wall all the way down. So it draws a line on me or on the panel so I can see what I have to cut and I just keep going along here and it follows the wall at the measurement that I need to take off. And that is how I fit the panel. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I cut it. I'm gonna cut that. Also, when I cut that panel, I'm gonna put it on a 45. So basically, I'm gonna just draw this. Maybe not a, a 45, but what it'll do when you look down on it, it's actually gonna be a sharp point. That sharp point's gonna help me to press it up against the wall so it's gonna fit nice and tight into that paint so i will have to use little to next to no caulking so it's a nice tight fit and everything looks seamless and clean so that's our next stage we're gonna go cut this panel i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm doing Next, we're gonna power plane. Now, if you look down, you can see I have this on an angle. There's a nice sharp point going all the way down. That's to fit the wall. So let's take this inside and see how it fits. All right guys, so we got our panel put in. I know you can see a bit of a line, but if you look down, nice and tight to the wall. That's my sharp point. So it cuts into the wall a little bit more. This is actually plaster, so it won't sink. But if this was drywall, if I loosen this cabinet and tighten it back up to the wall, it'll actually cut into that dryway, drywall and there will not be any gap at all. But there isn't any gap there right now. A wee little bit up at the top here, under a sixteenth, pretty darn good. And then you can see here, everything's flush. So that's how we fit a panel or a decorative panel. That's my end panel to cover up any gaps that are there because of the wall. There's curves in the wall or something like that. So every panel I'll be doing that, cutting to size, trimming, scribing, all that fun stuff and making sure everything is bang on. Cause when this kitchen's done, it's gonna look awesome. And you're not gonna wanna miss what it's gonna look like at the end. They're gonna be some floating shelves, floating shelves. They're gonna tile all the way up the wall. I'm assuming they're gonna do tiling over here too. So it's gonna look awesome. So guys, I'm gonna keep flying along. There's lots to do. I'm halfway through my day and I wanna get this other elevation all wrapped up today as much as I can. All right, we got countertop people coming and this is the big push. So we gotta keep flying.
It's clear to me the strangest signs Anyone can see the lights around us And anyone can see I've got no rhythm, got no moves I've got nothing left to lose Here It is smoking hot today. Oh my goodness. Anyways, we got a lot done today. I think it was a productive day, good day. Everything went smoothly. Everything went exactly how I wanted it. And I am gonna turn this camera around, show you what I've all done and explain everything. And then I'm gonna explain what's gonna happen next. So guys, we got our decorative panels on. We got our three drawer cabinet. We got our dishwasher, sink cabinet, three drawer cabinet our magic corner, our garbage unit, double cutlery, peninsula, kind of island, all installed. And then this side, we've got a drawer unit, microwave unit, and we've got one big fridge gable set in place. Then we still have to do the upper, a panel, and two floating shelves, two floating shelves. And then that wall is completed other than crown molding. And then we still got to do the pantry wall with the freezer. All right guys, that is a wrap on today's video. You see me put all the lowers in, get them all leveled. Now we're ready for the upper cabinets, the fridge uppers, the light balance, the floating shelves, all the fun things that just make this kitchen pop and the handles. So you're gonna have to stay tuned because that's what I'm gonna show you, all these fun things going in and getting installed. So on that note guys, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos upcoming and you're not gonna wanna miss this kitchen. So guys, thanks again for watching and we will see you on the next one. Cheers. I screwed up.